I'm Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the viewers and subscribers for posting questions and writing excellent remarks. Here is a question from one of our subscribers, and I hope its solution will help many others. We're talking about rectangle, area, and perimeter. So I have this question in two parts. Question 1a is, find the breadth of the rectangle whose length is 200 centimeters and area is 10 meters square. So let me just uh, construct a rectangle here and then we'll try to understand the situation. So what we are given here is that the length is 200 centimeters. However, we are given area as equal to 10 meters square. We need to find the breadth B, right? So that is the question for us. Now in this question, you will observe that the units are different, right? So it may be a good idea to convert the units. Since we are given area as 10 meters square and the length as 200 centimeter it's a good idea to write this in meters right one meter is 100 centimeters so it becomes two meters correct so that becomes the length of our rectangle now area is actually equal to length into width length is 10 area is 10 length is 2 and we need to find what width is so 2 times what is 10? 2 times 5 is 10. You could do like that. Or you can say 10 divided by 2 is width, which is 5. Right? So we get width as 5. Or simple thing here is, when you get this kind of an equation, then you can say 2 times 5 equals to 10. Therefore, width equals to 5. Right? So that is how we can easily explain uh, this concept to a junior school student. Now, let's look into question number 1b, which is a variation of the same thing. It says, find the breadth of a rectangle whose length is 200 centimeters and the perimeter is 10 meters. So, I've changed this question a bit. We just wrote perimeter. So, again, let's look into this same rectangle. Right? Now, we have our length of 200 centimeters which we'll write as 2 meters correct so we know length is 2 meters and the perimeter is 10 meters now what is perimeter perimeter is sum of all sides so in our case perimeter will be 2 times length since these two lengths will be same and we have to add 2 times breadth B, right? So adding them we get our perimeter. We are given perimeter is 10, so we will write 10 for this. 2 times we will multiply 2 by length of 2 plus 2 times breadth. So that makes it 10 equals to 4 plus 2 times breadth, right? So, from here, we can easily solve what breadth should be. Now, 10 equals to 4 plus what? 4 plus 6, right? So, so from here, you can say 4 plus 6 is 10. Therefore, 2 times breadth should be 6 or breadth should be 6 over 2 or half of this which is 3 meters correct so in our case we get width of 3 meters correct in the second case now it's always a good idea to check your result right so i like you to pause the video here check your result so let us check the result for the first one now in the first one we have length of 2 right so we have 2 times 5 you can see it is 10 meters square now in the second case we have the length of 2 width of 3 so if we do 2 times 2 
plus 2 times 3, what do we get? 4 plus 6, which is also 10 meters, right? So that becomes the perimeter. Also note here, when we talk about area, we are saying units are meter square, since we are multiplying, right? In case of perimeter, we are talking about meters as the unit since we are just adding two lengths. So I hope that concept is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.